welcome back to my channel. All right, so this video reading is how will they react when they see you again? So yeah, how will they react when they see you again? And if spirit uh, wants to reveal, we're going to find out when will you see this person again. So we'll see what the universe is going to reveal to us. All right, as always, thank you for those of you who are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell notification if you're brand brand new. I drop videos weekly. Uh, yes, keep in mind that these are general readings. They will not resonate with everyone. That is perfectly fine. Uh, if it doesn't, take take the parts of the message that resonate for you. Leave behind the parts of the message that doesn't. Um, if you find that the particular pile or deck that you chose does not resonate, you know, concentrate, pick another one, um, or go check out one of my other videos. I have so many. Uh, and also, if you like a personal reading, please check out the description box below as well as the pinned comment for details on that. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight into this, you all. So I have four decks for you all to choose from. This is deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Again, one, two, three, four. Take the time to pause this video, see which of these decks that you feel you resonate with the most, and come back when you are ready. All right, and I'm also going to pull an oracle card or oracle cards in regards to the decks. But let's jump into our reading with deck number one. So those of you who chose deck number one, the person that you are thinking about right now in regards to the question at hand, how will they react with you or towards you when they see you again? And universe, tell us when you'll see this person again. For some reason, I just got the energy of some of you have seen this person already. But it's like you're coming to find out what they felt in that moment. It's almost like it wasn't revealed. So let's see. Thank you, universe, for the channel messages. Thank you for utilizing it as a vessel. Get the message clearly, concisely, and quickly, universe. For those who chose pile number one, the person that they are asking Ooh. see we're gonna keep that one how will this person react to me see those who chose pile number one again that person again. there's still some attachments there between the person that you're asking about pile number one how the person react let me see them again for the channel messages I need two more cards for the person to react. Let's see them again. There we go, two more cards. Bottom of the deck, we got the High Priestess in reverse. So once again, I'm still getting the energy that those of you who chose pile number one, some of you, not all of you are kind of in, not in communication with this person, but this person is seeing you again. Whether you've seen them seeing you or not, or this person has taken an interest in you again, maybe watching you over social media again. But something about this energy is this person has come across you again. And I'm feeling feelings of, let's see, can I put that? Okay, that kind of see it on camera. Uh, with those of you who chose pile number one, like I'm feeling feelings of like butterflies in my stomach right now. You know that feeling that you get when you see your crush? That type of feeling like that, ooh, butterfly feeling. So let's, let me pull some oracles, oracle cards. Really quick to see for those who chose pile number one, how their person will react. See them again. Ooh, okay, we're gonna keep those. Right, they see them again. All right, so bottom of the oracle deck, we have the tribe. So, something about with the tribe at the bottom of the deck, this person may have been put this over here, tribe right there, and move these off camera. This person may have even been asking about you. Um, two mutual friends people that you both know with this tribe right here that's what i'm getting with that so something about this energy this person may have seen you and you you don't know it so um but let's find out what the reaction was or is so we got the queen of cups that's in the reverse we have the two of pentacles that's in the reverse we have the two of wands that's in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person ran into you, unbeknownst to you. Or you ran into this person, unbeknownst to them. Or the both of you seeing each other, but not saw each other seeing each other. If that makes sense, it makes sense. We have the devil card um, that's in the upright. We have the tower that's in the reverse. 
and we have the Ten of Pentacles that came out in the reverse. So what this is saying to me, for those of you who chose deck number one, one, you may be definitely re inquiring about an ex-lover. That's what I'm getting with this Ten of Pentacles that's in reverse. For some of you, this is a friendship as well. Um, however, though, this is someone, what I'm getting with this devil energy right here. Yeah, this is someone who's still attached. Someone who still thinks about you. Someone who's still curious about your life. They're still very much interested in what's going on. However, though, what I'm not seeing thus far, what I'm getting thus far is that this is someone who's not looking to, to kind of, they're not looking to go forth or to renew at this time. Definitely with this two of wands in the reverse and this two of pentacles in reverse. Uh, this situation could have been knocked off balance. No, 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 no. I'm definitely getting like a final ending type of energy. Something about an argument is coming through too. Or maybe the way the two of you stopped talking, it was kind of abrupt. That's what I'm getting with that. But at this point in time, this person still has love for you with this Queen of Cups in reverse, but they're not looking to offer you anything with this Queen of Cups. Like they're not looking to pour in passionately towards you, but they still, this person is still very much so just interested, enamored. Like I'm not even just feeling uh, romantic connections for those of you who chose pile number one or deck number one. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that this could be a friendship. This is someone who's very curious about you. I am getting that at some point, the two of you will have a conversation again, but I'm feeling some ways off, maybe up to a year. But definitely at this point in time, I'm not seeing that this person with this 10 of pentacles, I'm seeing that there was a friendship or, or a relationship of some sort, even if this was a situation that there was high hopes for, whether that was on your half or that this person's behalf. Um, but it's just kind of at a point where Definitely with this tower card, I'm seeing that you're going to stay in this energy of where everything got disrupted. However, though, what I'm getting with this tower card energy is that almost like this was done for the better. Because for some of you, this relationship that you had, whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship, was a bit one-sided. I am getting the energy of that. And so when everything kind of ended, it's almost like for this to come back together, it has to come back together in a better state. You know, more truthful, more honest, you know, just a better way because everything's been opened up and revealed. That's what I'm getting with that tower in reverse. But this is someone, definitely they're still keeping their eye on you. Definitely they're still attached to you. I am feeling up to one year, within one year, the two of you will come face to face to face to face again. I, but I am getting all, already, you've been seeing this person or this person's been seeing you or you've been hearing this person's name around or they've been hearing yours. They're definitely curious about you still curious about you again this is definitely the energy of someone who's tried to kind of push you away but something about your connection still stands this person your connection still stands with them something about for some of you if you share friends they've been asking about you most definitely um and there's something about this is it's like i'm picking up with this high priestess in reverse that was at the bottom of the deck even if you don't know it know it you can feel it like you just feel like this person wants me to reach out to them and this person does in a way want you to reach out to them it's kind of like i'm not going to be the first one i don't know how they feel that type of energy so let's see what came out in the oracle we have flexible and we have exchanging gifts so for some of you every time i get this exchanging gifts i always think about birthday birthday came up for some of you you may see this person again surrounding a birth date um this person's birthday could have just passed definitely with flexible i'm more so what i get with flexible and i'm seeing this too for some of you it's like i'm seeing you run into this person like on your lunch break like that's so weird like flexible almost like you run into them while you're doing something else like you know like or like you're in between something like you're in between a different task and you run into them i'm not saying you run into this person like with their new person if this is a romantic interest but i'm seeing you run into them like in between a task, like and very unbeknownst. Because I'm even seeing like the two of you like get face to face and like look up at each other and it's like you're startled. But not because you're scared, but because, you know, it just, it really knocks you off guard because you have not seen this person in person for a long time. But I am getting the energy that the two of you are definitely watching each other from afar. I can tell you that much. Um, and you're checking up. For some of you, you're actually checking up on this person or they're checking up on you with this tribe energy. They're asking people who know about you, you know, like just casually or trying to pretend like it's casual. So that's what I'm getting for that. For those of you who chose pile number one or deck number one, let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. Did it resonate? 
how did it resonate and if you're interested in a private reading check out the description box below as well as the pinned comment uh and yeah let's get into it deck number two how will they react the next time they see you so let's find out and when will they see you next the universe for the answer to the question at hand utilizing me as a vessel to bring the message out clearly concisely for the channel messages those who chose pop number two is that number two the person that they're asking about how they react there's going to be communication that's what i'm feeling thus far of the deck we got the knight of swords that came out in the reverse and right underneath that i got the knight of wands that came out in reverse that's peeking out to me too this is someone who wants to take action this is someone who has something to say to you but at the same time when i'm getting with this knight of swords it may be there's still some some hurt or or just frustration that this person is holding on to but then right underneath that i'm seeing the will of fortune and the queen of wands so i am seeing underneath at the bottom of the deck with the cards that this is a situation that will pan out i'm more so getting that there's a conversation that needs to be had uh for those of you who chose pile number two or deck number two there's a conversation that needs to be had there was words that were left unsaid um closure that needs to be had and this is kind of why i'm getting this energy too with this knight of swords in reverse like there was things left unsaid and this person it's almost like what i'm what i'm sensing Either you or the person you're asking about, all these words that they want to say, and it's like the moment they see you, it's just going to be blah, 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 word vomit, you know. And it may be a bit hurt in the way that it comes out because this person feels hurt by you or you feel hurt by this person. So that's what I'm saying with that Knight of Swords. But I am hearing communication. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm seeing. So let's get some Oracle cards and then we'll jump into the reading universe. How will those who choose power? Number two. I'm gonna keep that one. One more. React. How will power level number two person react when they see them again? Okay. All right. And the bottom of the deck we have milk and honey. So what I'm getting with milk and honey is. Something about this situation after things are resolved is going to put you all in a better place. In the land of milk and honey. It's going to put you all in a better place. That's what I'm getting with that. So let's see what came out uh, in the tarot. So we have the king of swords that's in reverse. So I'm getting, for some of you, this is someone you haven't been talking to. Like, I mean, like no communication whatsoever. I'm getting for at least nine months. No communication whatsoever. Maybe this person has been a bit harsh with you. Maybe it felt like this person was just all out ignoring you. Maybe this person was just all out ignoring you, but something in the energy feels blocked. Because there's some bitterness too, before I get into that card. There's some bitterness that I'm feeling. There's some just, just some hurt. Some just, and even when this person had, because for some of you, you reached out to this person trying to mend the, the, the fence, you know, or trying to, you know bridge the gap and this person it's like they were just like no i'm not you know almost like i want you to feel how i felt that type of craziness and now they're regretting it and this is why they want to come in and they have all these words because it's kind of like by them trying to be hurtful towards you it backfired on them and then we have the two of swords yeah this is someone in regards to I'm just saying when they see you, the first thing they want to do, they want to have a conversation with you. And I'm saying like a conversation on spot. That's what I'm saying in regards to that. Like this is someone who's not going to hold back. They're not going to try to, it's like their ego is no longer involved. They're not going to try to, you know, pretend like it isn't or pretend. This is someone who still has a lot of feelings for you. They're not going to try to pretend like they don't have feelings for you. That's what I'm picking up with that. Wow. We got the devil card that came out again. Devil also came out in the first deck. So for those of you who chose deck number two, maybe deck number one is also a message for you. But yeah, someone who's very much so 
attached to you. What I'm getting is this could be your energy or this could be the energy of the person that you are inquiring about. It's almost like I'm getting, it's like they wanted you to learn your lesson, but this is not someone who's done with you. So it, I'm feeling like a way more open energy in regards to deck number two. Whereas deck number one was a bit more, you know, secretive, you know, and it's like a, it was slow moving. This is someone, and I'm getting in terms of time frame thus far within the next three months. This is someone who, and I'm also hearing, thank you universe, about wow, a message is just coming through. Um, thank you universe that as this person sees you because of what's going on, if you're currently, even though this is a timeless read, if you are watching this during the current uh, pandemic era that we're going through, uh, this is what's inspiring this person too to make sure they, you know, to contact you. But this person's reaction is going to be, I need to talk to you now. Because this person is still, this person still dreams about you. They think about you most definitely. They're very attached to you. I'm seeing dreams. This person is, this person is dreaming about you. Uh, what did I tell you? Wow, we got the lovers. We got the lovers. This is someone who wants to be back with you, like point blank period. They don't want to explore it. They don't want to try to figure it out. Milk and honey right here. They want to straight up be with you. It's like they just wanted you to learn your lesson. So this is someone, the next reaction that they're going to have towards you, it's going to be in this Knight of Swords energy where it's like they're coming in. I'm hearing fools rush in. I always get like, I feel like I get the same songs that come out but it, it, it means something for somebody but i'm getting like fools rush in they're gonna rush in you know and it's gonna be quite emotional with this knight of swords but it's like almost like why did you walk away you know from me or where did you go or why didn't you come back that's what i'm hearing it's like when they stepped away from you or when you stepped away from them they were expecting you to return they were doing it to teach you a lesson they were hoping you learned the lesson and it's like uh-oh you know it ended up going nine months with you not hearing from this person. And that was not the original intent of that. Uh, let's see what else we have. The Emperor in Reverse. So this is someone they're letting, that one, the energy that I'm getting, that was a very controlling energy. You know, I'm gonna do this instead. Because I'm getting to, this person may not have been the best communicator. And this is someone who shows you with action and it's like, okay, well, you'll know what it means. And it's like, no, but we have to use our words. So this is someone who's coming a little less controlled than the energy that they were in before. And it, something about two of the signs. It could be this person could be an Aries, even though I didn't name the signs in the first deck, but I'm hearing to name the signs this time. This person could be an Aries, a Gemini, or a Capricorn. That could be you as well, or this person could be an air energy. Uh, let's see what came out in the Oracle. We got chopped wood. So, and I finally remember the uh, meaning for this. So this is about um, doing the mundane, taking care of what needs to be taken care of, you know, that might not be exciting. So once again, this is causing this person to be grounded. This person has to come back to you and say to you the things in which that matter to them. And what I'm getting is that what kind of separated you all was something tiny, like something super small. And this person just... You know, or maybe it was something that, that's constantly happening of a small nature and, and it builds up to something big. But something as small as or as mundane as just saying what it is that you want and meaning it. Because I'm not hearing that the two of you didn't have that type of open energy where you didn't, where it was a one-sided love. This is just, this is about words unsaid. And now it's going to come out emotionally. That's what I'm feeling with that. We have serendipity. So I told you within the next three months, this person with the serendipity, um, they're just going to pop up. That's what I'm getting with the serendipity energy. They're just going to pop up um, or you're going to hear. The, I feel like, too, what I'm feeling is like the universe is going to give you signs before this person pop up, too. And they were, and that's the serendipitous nature of it all. Um, like you're going to either get dreams or you're going to start seeing numbers or you're going to start hearing this person's name. Like it's, it's going to be serendipitous. Like it's going to be like, OK, what's going on? And this is going to be the universe letting you know, OK, this person's coming towards you any minute now and it's going to happen within a week of you getting those signs that's what i'm getting at but i'm getting overall um i'm here within three to four months now i'm hearing up to a fourth month but within three to four months most definitely treasure island this is actually this encounter is actually going to mend fences with the two of you it's going to mend the relationship so for those of you who are inquiring about someone that you want to get back with uh that's what i'm getting with this energy this treasure island is going to bring the two of you back um and it's actually, you know, for those of you who's going to open up for better communication, it's like you're going to learn your lesson, ironically, to say what you mean to me, what you say, and, and, you know, 
try to be less controlling or they're going to try to be less controlling with you. And then we have TikTok, what I tell you, it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time and it's happening in and now. And for those of you that are watching this during the pandemic, that's what's, because this is more so, the reason why too I'm getting the energy of three to four months, it's more so like, because I'm seeing a face-to-face -face contact, face-to-face -face interaction with the two of you. So this is why it's going to be three to four months because within three to four months, you're going to finally get to be face-to-face -face with this person. This person is going to find you and talk to you in front of your face. That's how the message is coming out to me now. Of course, message, a message can be delivered any other way, but I am seeing a face-to-face -face conversation because this person wants you back in the physical. That's what I'm getting with that. All right. So thank you to those of you. What did I do my Oracle? Thank you to those of you who chose pile or deck number two. Let me know how you felt about it in the comment section. And book a private reading with me if you need. Uh, Information is in the description box below as well as the pinned comment. Let's go into deck number three. How will this person react when they see you again, deck number three? And when will they see you again? All right, we're going to keep that one. Cards are already jumping out. This person is anxious to get a message to you. Thank you, universe, for the message. Thank you for utilizing me as a vessel. Answer clearly. This is a game for the How would those who choose tech number three? That person. All right, bottom of this deck, we got the seven of cups. Can you see that in the camera's view? Yes, you can. All right, we got the Seven of Cups. And let's pull some Oracle cards. Universe, thank you for the channel message. How and when? How old? What's your choice? All right, we have Poised. At the bottom of this deck and we also this deep knowing came out too we have poised something about you all are already feeling the outcome to this um we also got the knight of cups that was peeking through right underneath this seven of cups so that's that's coming out to me too so i'm getting the feelings of uh a romantic connection for those of you who chose uh deck number three um Something about this is like, this person only wants you as their only option. This, like the options, this is someone that I'm getting that may have a lot of options with the seven of swords, I mean, seven of uh, cups um, at the bottom of the deck. But with it in reverse, this is someone with a lot of options, but they want you. They, You're the only option they want to see. And this person is going to be really calm too when they see you again. But for some of you, I'm getting the energy that this person has already ran into you. And they were calm. And then and then I'm kind of getting, because they were so poised, is why you're looking at this reading like, okay, but what were they feeling? I am getting romantic feelings towards you. So let's see what came out in the tarot. We got the magician card that came out in the reverse. Thank you, universe. We got the five of swords that came out in the reverse. Yeah, I'm getting the energy of now. This person, either you have run into this person already and you're trying to figure out what they felt then or this is the now energy. We got the King of Cups that came out in the reverse. We got the Wheel of Fortune that came out in the upright. And we got the Queen of Wands that came out in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone who wants to get to know you again. This is someone who would like to offer you this King of Cups energy once again. Like, because I am getting that for some of you. Now, for some of you, I'm getting that there's been a consistent communication, but just you, you haven't been together. And by, or I should say consistent connection, meaning that you're connected over uh, social media, but you're not together with this person. You're not in a relationship. That's what I'm getting with that. Uh, this is someone who desires to create something with you. You know, it's like they see magic with you, but it's, it's something about it. It's like this person has to get to know more, but definitely this energy is in the now. This energy is in the now. This person wants to, it's like you and this person have to do more together like you have to date more with this queen of wands this person wants to go out with you they want to get to know you that's what i'm getting with that it's like this person they may have shut you out or you may have been shut out 
um, this person may have blocked you or you have may, you may have blocked them. This person can also be at a distance. But something about this, this person who was closed off then, who was exploring their options then, no longer wants to explore their options. It's like the grass, they, they, they saw that the grass wasn't greener or they wanted to see if the grass was greener. This is someone who, even with the greener grass, may have gotten into a relationship. That thing is over and now they're looking towards you. Kind of like in a comparison, like, okay, I thought I, I, I did what I wanted relationship wise over there, but I want to get to know this person over here. And almost like this person's energy is still tied to that new relationship or the relationship they chose over you or whatever that is that they got involved with after you. But once that ended, it's like, I want to see it's because it's like they've never stopped being curious about you. And it's like, I want to see if this is going to happen. I want to see if this is going to work. So that's too what I'm getting why this person is in such calm energy. And I'm definitely getting in the energy of now pandemic or not, you know, depending on when you're watching this, this person is in the energy of now where they're going to reach out to you because I'm seeing that with this will of fortune. They're going to like they're going to reach out to you. You know, this is like fate stepping in almost like, you know, OK, you're supposed to know each other or, or they feel by fate they're supposed to at least see because this is someone who didn't get the chance to see if it could be anything great between the two of you and i am hearing that it could be something great between the two of you and this is someone who wants to get to know you with this queen of wands they want but not just get to know you as in talk to you this is someone who wants to come towards you and date you and i'm hearing that that that's in the now that's how they're going to react um like in terms of when they're going to see you, that's in the now. It's, ha it's happening in the now energy. So whatever this now is for you, it's happening in the now. Expect it unexpectedly in just in the now soon. I can't say that enough. But they're going to be very calm when they see you or they were very calm when they saw you. But this is someone you're going to be hearing from them again. Maybe they're going to refriend you on social media or they're going to unblock you or things of that nature. But this is someone who wants to get to know you. They're going to be... I'm not getting tippy toeing around you, but they're going to watch how they talk to you. This, they're coming from a more respectful angle. This is someone, yeah, it's like almost like you had a situation ship too with this King of Cups, with this magician in the uh, in the reverse, both in the reverse. It's like you spent a lot of time with each other, but it didn't materialize to anything. And you were shut out in the cold or you felt shut out in the cold. But this is someone who wants to give this a shot now with this Wheel of Fortune and this Queen of Wands. We have Imagine. Yep, this is someone, look. And you have the magician card in reverse. This is someone who could see, even then, someone who saw, okay, maybe we could be together. But just didn't go with you as a choice because of circumstance. But this is someone who, and their thoughts are bringing them closer to you, too. And I just heard, it doesn't matter where they are in the world. It doesn't matter where they are in the world, how far you are apart, this person is coming towards you. And then we have the tribe. So once again, this person could be, what I'm thinking with this one is, this is more so this person is asking their friends about you. Um, and you may not even know this person's friends. No, you don't know this person's friends. That's what I'm getting. Or you may, but I'm not getting that you like really knows, no knows, really know this person friends. Well, I just noticed that this card right here doesn't have a number on it. Imagine. This is, this is about wish fulfillment too. Oddly enough, this doesn't have a number on it. I don't know if this is a glitch in my particular Oracle deck, but I'm also getting, you know, wish fulfillment. Imagine. Imagine what it is that you want. This is someone imagining themselves coming closer to you. They're asking their friends about you. You know, even if their friends don't know you, I'm hearing them say something in regards to, should I take this chance? Should I take that leap? And I'm hearing friends say, well, what do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose. It went disarray with the other person. Because this is someone who, also I'm, I'm looking at the person that you're asking about, maybe looking for a relationship or looking for that type of stability. But this is them saying to themselves that this stability over here that they thought they had fell apart. So it's like, why don't I just go for what I want? What if that's exactly what I'm trying to have? That's what I'm saying with that. So this is why this person is coming towards you. Okay, I just re I just see I saw the number now, you all. It's a twenty. And this is the only one that's not in a in a in in black font. Um, but even still, imagine wish fulfillment. What are you doing when you're imagining something? You know, you're creating it in your mind. You know, you're going as far as you can possibly go. There's no blockages. You know, at least I hope you're not blocking yourself in your imagination. But yeah, this is someone that's coming towards you in the now. Um, however, when they've seen you or when they'll see you, they'll be very poised. They'll be very calm. But right now, you're the one that they want. They want to explore this option. You know, and they still have options. That's why the Seven of Cups is in reverse. They still have options, but they don't want these options over here. They got out of that. They're ready to grow up. And they want to come towards you. They want to get to know you. They want to date you. They want to see what this can be with this will of fortune. That's what I'm getting in this Queen of Wands together. 
All right. Thank you to those of you who chose deck number three. Let me know in the comment section how that resonated for you, if that resonated for you. And if you like a personal reading, check out the description box below. As well as the pinned comment. And let's get into our last pile. Pile number three. I mean, pile number four. I said pile number three. Pile number four. How will they react when they see you again? And when will you see them again? Let's get the message going. Thank you, universe, for the channel message. Thank you for accuracy. For those who are inquiring about deck number four. Thank you for utilizing me as a vessel. Thank you for the channel messages. Thank you, universe. For those who are talking about deck number four, how would that person react towards them? Let me see. So she was talking about. of the deck we have railroad bill or the chariot in reverse and i'm getting something about uh, i'm here to tell you all you know this person could be of the cancer energy um something about there's a lot of emotions coming in and i'm feeling someone who's very emotional and this could be you in regards to this person or them let's get some oracle cards on the matter first thank you for those who chose Okay. All right, I'm filling those. The fates. So definitely what I'm getting with the fates and this chariot in reverse. This is someone, this is about emotions. Someone's feeling really emotional behind this. And I am seeing something about the fates will connect the two of you. And something about this clean it up and regeneration. Yeah, the two of you will be reconnected. Uh, most definitely. Um, and it's like things are going to come into things are going to be cleaned up between the two of you you know things could have been left unsaid but let's let's get into the tarot um something about that clean it up is really peeking out though uh this also i'm also picking up the energy this could be someone who cheated on someone too someone who be this or there could have been some third party situation stuff going on somebody was deceitful that's what i'm getting with that but anyway let's see what comes out in tarot we have the three of coins that's in the reverse something about a family was broken up. Definitely, I'm telling you, I'm getting that, that that third party energy. A family may have been broken up. Something about an abortion is coming through with a child. Someone lost a child with this person. Because I'm feeling a lot of emotional strain. Uh, we have the mother of baskets or the queen of cups. We have the five of baskets or the five of cups. Both of these are in the reverse and the three of coins are in reverse. Someone, yeah, someone lost a child with someone. We have the death card, ancestors. We have the death card. Someone lost a child with someone. Um, we have strength that came out in the reverse. We have the seven of coins that came out in the reverse. Someone, this is about a family breaking up too. We have the six of coins that came out in the reverse. Um, Somebody stepped out on somebody. That's just straight up what I'm getting with this one. Somebody stepped out on somebody. Um, there definitely is some type of third party situation that was going on. Uh, something about emotions are just running high. I'm not even getting that those of you who chose deck number four necessarily want to recreate anything with this person, whether it's romantically, whether it's a friendship. Um, there's just a lot of hurt that's happening here. A lot of communication that did not happen. Something about... For someone who lost a child, there was an abortion or there was a miscarriage, that situation pulled you guys away from each other. Or maybe there's some or someone who was involved in a third party had a kid. That situation pulled the all of the you the two of you that were in a relationship away from each other. Right? Even if you were the third party in it, that pulled you away from each other. I'm seeing when they see you, this is going to be an emotional thing. For some of you, you have to see this person again in court. That's what's coming out too. Um I'm getting that this situation definitely disappointed you. 
there's closure that's needed. There's things that need to be said. Something about when this child didn't come forth, um, things were not talked about. That's what I'm getting with that. But there's a lot of deceit that I'm feeling with those of you who chose deck number four. There's a lot of deceit. Yeah, this is something that, you know, this was, a, it was almost like there was an ill investment in this relationship to begin with. I keep on picking up something about a third party energy. There's a lot of ill investment. This was a one-sided thing. And I'm getting that for some of you that's watching this, your person is the one that was giving more to you than you were giving back to them. There's a selfishness that's coming through with Jack number four in particular. Like I'm, I'm just feeling a one-sided connection. I'm not feeling, I'm, it's like I'm, I'm feeling somebody said, this is not fair. You know, somebody fell in love and somebody else didn't. And it was the person who didn't ha have the other person. Um, this is somebody, yeah, this is somebody, for those of you who chose deck number four, they're really hurt by you or you're really hurt by them. And this is someone who wants to talk to you, but not want to come back together in a relationship with you, but they want to talk to you. They, it's like, they want you to hear that they were hurt. They feel that, they feel that you don't care or you feel that they didn't care. That's, that's what's going on. This is about more so a conversation that needs to be had. And I'm still I'm getting something strong about a baby, you all. Um, that for some of you, when this baby came about, you pulled away. They pulled away. And this is about a conversation that needs to be had that needs to be had. Because I'm not even getting for some of you, you haven't talked to this person in in, in up to two years, over two years even. Um I'm getting something about when you'll see them again, maybe within five months, something within five months that's coming through. But this is definitely about somebody was really hurt and it had something to do with the third party, whether that was a baby being added or a baby, um, you know, some a child losing their life or you coming into someone else's relationship or someone entering into your relationship. But something about this situation hasn't been the same since. And it hasn't been the same with that third party since either. But this is something about a whole lot of hurt. And then two, what I'm getting is if this has to do with a friendship that you're looking around, um, that you're asking about, somebody in a friendship, someone took money from them. Someone took from them. Someone stole. This. It's, it's a lot of deceit. And the reaction that I'm getting when you all see each other again, it's going to be angry. It's going to be emotional. I'm getting a lot of crying. I'm seeing a lot of crying. There's grief there. There's anger there. And there's a lot of crying accompanied with the anger. Um... I'm also getting a, a, something about divorce and money coming in with the six of coins in reverse. Something about somebody's going to have to pay up. Let's see what came out in the Oracle. We have to be fair. Yep, this is something about it. I told you it's about emotion. Someone is, it feels like they got the short end of the stick. It's like they just want to holler at you. That's what I'm hearing. Like they want to just yell at you. We have the tribe. I told you this is about something about a divorce is coming through. This tribe card has been coming out a lot. I um, told you about divorce, a family being broken up. This is about anger. This is about anger. I'm not getting that it's going to be a reunion between the two of you, not in a back to harmony type of way. This is about someone who needs to, maybe the two of you needed to go to counseling just to get all this out together, you know, because somebody was deceitful to someone else and they are hurt. This is a, this is a hurt person. So their reaction towards you, they're hurt. They're hurt. They're going to be yelling at you. They might be trying to fight you. You know, they're hurt. They're upset about the way things ended, most definitely. And it's almost like this person watched you, if this is a third-party relationship, you watched them go off into the distance with their other person, or they watched you go off into the distance with your other person, and it looks like, it's like from the outside looking at everything seemed to be good, but I'm not sensing that it was good even after that situation seemingly got undissolved. That's weird. Uh, we got deep knowing. So this person knows that you're hurt. And this person may have been avoiding you, but they're not going to be avoiding you because this also got something to do with money too. Something about they're not going to be avoiding you, be able to be avoiding you. Somebody's going to have to pay up for child support. That's what I'm getting with that. But they're not going to be able to completely avoid you. And I'm just seeing you all. I'm like seeing the type of hurt. Okay, so for those of you who've ever seen, um, what is it? What is it? This is coming to mind. Ah. Waiting to exhale. And when Angela Bassett catches her husband with his secretary and she comes in and she throws a shoe, you know, she catches the secretary in his office and she was like, oh, so this is the woman you, were, you know, throws a shoe and, you know, slaps her and, and stuff. I think these might be two different scenes, um, but slaps her and everything, you know, it's like that type of anchor. I'm just seeing someone who's mad. There's some bitterness there. Just 
they feel like, why? Why me? Why did I have to go through? Why would you do this to me? Like, it's just a lot of hurt. This is someone who wants to give somebody else a piece of their mind. That's what I'm getting with that. And then we got no place like home. So, yeah, I told you this has to do with a home situation. Somebody broke up a home. There's strife within the home. Whoever involved in this third party, because I'm, I'm also picking up somebody in this third party, could have got pregnant outside of their specific union. It broke up a home. And even though this person, you know, you watching this, your relationship may be intact or they watching this, you know, this third, this other person you're asking about, their situation may seem like it's intact, but it's not. Even you, if you're the guilty party watching this, I'm not feeling that, that you, that you, that you're feeling okay about this. You feel this person's energy with this deep knowing you just do. And so, yeah, there's a lot of hurt there. There's a lot. Of, mm -mm. It's not feeling good. So I'm not getting that the two of you will come back together. I am hearing. Yeah. Because something about, you might be forced to see this because there's something about money coming through. Somebody's going to have to pay up. Somebody, and I'm getting something within five months. Someone lost a kid, lost the baby within five months. Maybe someone lost a baby that was five years old. Like, I'm really picking up on it. And, I, and I'm sorry for those of you that that's resonating for because I know that's a hurtful thing. But, yeah, this is a lot of anger, a lot of grief attached to it. Some, you know, a lot of you, you know, if this is resonating, you need, you know, go seek out therapy. Even. This is a lot of hurt. I'm, I'm feeling some acrimonious type emotions right now. Like, like the movie Acrimony. Like, this is the type of bitter I'm feeling like that. It's at a level to, you know, it's, it's you know, like that you just want to seek revenge. It's hurt. I am feeling hurt. That's what the energy I'm picking up with this. So, yeah, this, this was deep. This was heavy. All right, thank you for those of you who chose uh, deck number four. Let me know how you felt about that in the comment section. Did that resonate? How did it resonate? And in regards to, yeah, how they're going to react, they're going to be very emotional. I'm talking about fighting. You know, that's, that's what that is. And when when something about five months is coming through, that's what's coming through strong. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section. If you like a private reading, you know what to do. Check out the uh, description box below as well as the pinned comments. And yeah, thank you all of you for your energy. Thank you for viewing this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And until my next video, I will be seeing you all later. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.